The second in our series of picture frames is going to be a craftsman style frame. So what makes for a craftsman style picture frame? Well, first off, I've selected quarter sawn white oak. So we have that wonderful flecking that's so iconic of craftsman style. I've cut all my pieces from the same board to ensure consistent color and consistent grain. The next thing is, if you'll notice, there are two different levels happening here. The rails are cut 5 eighths of an inch thick, while the styles are 3 quarter, and that creates a transition and a good shadow line. The last element is going to be a pierced detail on each of the two styles. And so that's what makes a very simple frame a craftsman frame. So I have all my parts planed thickness, cut to width, cut to length. My next step is to deal with these pierced details. So I'm now off to the drill press and we'll get started. The holes that begin and end each piercing are laid out with the interior dimensions of the frame. Are, the holes are drilled with a one inch Forstner bit. Well, we're ready to go ahead and connect the two holes that we previously drilled. I have a 3 8 inch straight bit here in the router. What we want to do is incrementally cut our way up and through this piece of wood. I'm going to raise the bit approximately a quarter of an inch each time, so we're not going to overfeed the bit and we'll get a clean, crisp cut. The joinery for our picture frame couldn't be easier. I'm using biscuits with a plate joiner. I have on my parts a mark indicating where I need to cut the slot for the biscuits. And I've got one ready to go. So now I'm going to cut all my joints. With the slots cut by the biscuit joiner, it's time to add the biscuits. Now, I always like to put glue on both surfaces of any joint I glue up. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the slot and a little on the biscuit. Now all that's left is to clean up the excess glue with a damp towel, and then I'll be ready to let it dry and go to the router table and route the rabbit that's going to hold the backer and the glass in place. To retain the glass, the backer, and a picture of your choice, our next step is to route a rabbit around the interior backside of our frame. So in the router table, I've installed a one quarter inch rabbiting bit. I have it raised one quarter inch above the table, and I'm ready to start routing. Thank you. 
Router bits don't reach into corners very well. So to complete the rabbit on the interior of our frame, I'm gonna use a good sharp chisel and clean it out by hand. Well, construction's all finished on the Craftsman style frame. All that's left is for me to put a piece of glass in the rabbit, my favorite picture, and the backer. The backer glass picture sandwich will be held in place by some turnbuckles. I'll put a sawtooth hanger up top, and our picture frame will then be ready to hang on the wall. Woodsmithplans.com. Hundreds of professional, high quality woodworking plans right at your fingertips. Every single plan is presented as an easy to download digital package that includes pages of step-by-step -step instructions, full color photos, illustrations, and exploded views, retail sources for hardware and supplies, plus a cutting diagram and materials list. Many plans offer handy video overviews and guides. Plus, we're proud to offer our plans in both standard and metric. Everything is here from gorgeous heirloom furniture projects to handy shop projects and upgrades, clever cost-effective storage solutions, as well as weekend projects and accessories that are great for gifts. All fully searchable and categorized for easy browsing. Woodsmithplans.com, everything you need for building fine woodworking projects.